Welcome back. Hypothermia is usually something you think about during the winter, but Lisa Malik joins us with Health Watch and one place where they think about this term year-round. Yeah, surprisingly, it's the emergency room at Aurora Bay Care Medical Center because something called therapeutic hypothermia is really helping heart attack patients. And for a local man, this cool new treatment meant he could get back to doing his daily activities without missing a beat. If you don't recognize it, this is a classic car. I just like working on cars, and right now I'm restoring one. It's a 53 Buick. Took it all the way down to a bare frame and stuff. Sand us, and the kids wanted to do that, so taught me into buying one. But a heart attack put the brakes on the project. Glenn was at the dentist's office when it happened. It's actually when I blacked out there and that that's well we must have started CPR or something right away. Once here in the ER, Glenn's heart stopped and started several times and doctors worked on him for more than an hour. Then it was time to cool him down. Just the concept of, of the therapeutic hypothermia, it's 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 really um the idea is to cool down the brain, cool down the body so that you slow down the metabolism. It's the metabolism that causes all the problems when it's going very fast. You want to slow things down so that it, uh, the body is restored, the brain cells are restored in a more orderly fashion. Okay. Get the cooling blanket put on. As soon as a patient's heart starts up again after an attack, doctors cool the body down to between 90 and 93 degrees. We can start with ice packs. We can. Um, um, infuse cold saline in their veins, but we can put them on a cooling blanket and then there's a new um, uh, heat exchange catheter that we can put in their body to regulate their, their blood temperature. This therapy goes beyond saving lives. Obviously, you know, patients will, will die if they're not getting the oxygen um, and the patients that do survive will have, have brain damage. But if we can, if we can protect these, these brain cells, then their brain functions can be much better off in the end. It's kind of surprising because, you know, you didn't think that nobody would go through all that, but just, you know, you know, body and stuff like that, you didn't think, you know, I'd handle it, but apparently my body must have been strong enough to <laughs> handle all that. And soon, Glenn will be able to feel how the Buick handles on the road. He's well on his way, too. Glenn is proactive about his health these days, taking medication for his high blood pressure, working out, and he's lost weight. That is great. And going back to the treatment for a moment, what mm -hmm. about shivering? Is that a factor? It absolutely is, because that, of course, is the body's natural reaction to cooling down. So doctors have to keep the patients unconscious as well as paralyzed during that slow process when they warm the body up to its regular temperature. So what an amazing great. story. It is. Yeah, he's doing well these days. For more information on this story, you can call one 866-938-0035 or head to WFRV.com. Click on Health Watch.